fucking son of a bitch! Uh, my name is Takuro Kuromochi. I'm a second year high school student. Bang! Bang! Bash! Bash! And the girl who is sandbagging a doll is Yuka Arashima. She is a second year high school student the same age as me and is known as the Queen Bee of the school. She won first place unanimously in the beauty pageant at the school festival last year while she is only a first year student. Good morning, Miss Arashima. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. She is the daughter of the president of a large company called Arashima Group and is elegant. She is a perfect superhero with a gentle personality who is good at everything, including study and sports. She is adored by both men and women and also trusted by teachers. Naturally, she is popular to boys and constantly asked out every day. Ah! I'm another one of those boys in love with her. Today, I decided to be brave and ask her out, so I looked for her all over the school, and then... Come on! The doll was beaten up! Oh, uh, no, sorry. I was not supposed to do this. <laughs> sorry. Scary. She sounds like a DV boyfriend, and I'm scared. Uh? Scary. It's scary like a horror movie. I'm in trouble. If I get caught here, I don't know what she will do to me. I have to spread the word that she's two-faced before she catches me. Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm going to spread that you're two-faced to everyone as fast as I can. Let me go. I'm not going to let you go. Are you stupid? Oh, shit. I got caught, man. Now I'll end up like that doll before I can spread about her to everyone. You, what's your name? Ta Takuro Kuromochi. Then, Kuromochi, come here. I can't escape this one. I didn't think people would see me. I made sure there was no one around. If you didn't want to be known, you shouldn't have done that at school. Huh? Scary. She is scary as bad boys hanging around the convenience store. If possible, I would like them to hang out in front of the police station. Well, you don't need me to tell you. I am usually a wolf in sheep's clothing. This is real me. Uh, yes. And here's me, a wolf in sheep's clothing. How quickly you change. Isn't it magnificent? The result of many years of practice. Uh, I guess, but it's very tiring, so I do that from time to time to relieve stress. I see. Why are you telling me all this? It's a pain in the ass that people ask me all kinds of questions out of curiosity. I just told you ahead of time what I thought you would ask. And you know this as well, even if I don't tell you. Huh? Don't tell anyone what you saw. Tell no one. If you do... I'll do whatever it takes to make you regret it. Be ready yourself. Mm. And you promise not to get involved with me anymore. Promise me that, will you? I'd like to promise you, but I have one very unfortunate news. Huh? What? I got a loose tongue. Huh? I honestly don't have the confidence to keep it a secret. Are you serious? I'm serious. Oh, you... If you tell people, I'll really show you no mercy, okay? It's no use being threatened. My loose tongue will not be tight by such a thing. Where does that confidence come from? Because my loose tongue has nothing to do with my will. I'm usually at the level where I'm telling secrets to people without knowing. Are you serious? Telling secrets to people without even knowing it? My friends who know about this don't talk to me about important things. Are you okay with that? Aren't you getting left out of the group? I think I might be somewhat left out. I started to feel sorry for you. I got a sympathy from her, who have been threatening me a lot. I have mixed feelings. I don't want my secret to get out. Can't you do something about it? I'll do anything. She had threatened me earlier, and now she is pleading with me. So, she doesn't want the secret to be known that much. Then, I have one favor to ask you. Yeah, what is it? 
I want to ask you out. What? Originally, I was going to ask you out right there. Huh? What? Does that mean you... Uh, like me? Yeah. Then why don't you ask me out or be your girlfriend or something like that? What? What's fun about going out with you like that? Something suddenly hit me right in the face. It hurts. No? I'm not saying no, but if you like me, I've got a great idea. Good idea? Follow me for a minute. Huh? Bazar. Huh? I'm going to marry this person. Huh? Huh? This is the school queen bee's room. I am getting excited. I know you're probably confused. So, I'll explain what's going on. Oh, does it matter? Can I open your wardrobe or something? Of course not. Return to the subject. Your room is full of dolls. Hmm. Yeah, well, it's a hobby. I see. Do you enjoy sandbagging these dolls? That's a scary hobby. So, what I was just going to tell you, I am about to be forced into a political marriage. It's the kind of thing that happens to rich people all the time. But I don't want to get married to someone my parents arranged for me. That's why I wanted a fake boyfriend. You mean that fake boyfriend of yours is me? You like me, don't you? Then you should love to be my boyfriend. Even if it's a fake one. Yeah, but there's no love there, is there? Of course. I'm not saying it's for free. If you keep my secret and act as a part of a fake boyfriend too, well, maybe I'll even kiss you. I feel demoralized. What? Can I go home now? What? What? Uh, what? No, no, no! You get to kiss the person you love. Isn't that something you'd normally be happy about? I think you've been reading too many comic books and stuff, Miss Arashima. What? A kiss isn't worth that much. Really? I suppose it's a perk to be a boyfriend, even if it's a fake one. What's more important than a kiss? A title? <laughs> Nothing is no worth more than a loveless kiss. Is that too? Well, I'll help you as a fake boyfriend anyway. I don't want the person I love to be forced into a marriage she doesn't want to be in. Thank you. Will you keep my secret too? What? I'd like to talk about it. What the fuck is this? By the way, your father was kind of a strict man. Well, yes, I guess so. The son of a bitch father is so strict. He's always been so strict about manners and civility. Is that the wolf in sheep's clothing, Miss Arashima? I guess so. Both outside and inside, as the daughter of the Arashima family, I have always been expected to be perfect. I was raised in a house where perfection was the norm, and failure was unacceptable. I was raised in such a home. It was suffocating. So that's how Miss Arashima... The girl with Two-Face was born. You might get a lot of crap about being my boyfriend, but don't worry about it too much. Okay. So that's how I ended up being Miss Arashima's fake boyfriend. Don't you even know that? I am quickly being snubbed. I was invited to a dinner as Miss Arashima's boyfriend, but I didn't know how to use a knife and fork. How possible a man who can't even know this is my daughter's boyfriend? It's a pity. I can't believe this is how my daughter sees in guys. Father, Mr. Kuromochi is just an ordinary boy. Don't be angry with small things. I will teach him how to use a knife and fork later. Huh. <laughs> Thanks to my behavior, the dinner was filled with bad atmosphere. Anyway, if you're going to call yourself my daughter's boyfriend, you're going to have to try a little harder than that. Oh, yes. I'll do my best. Hmm. Well, I don't want you just saying. Yes, I'll do my best. Only the response is good. Thank you. <sighs> From then on, I was invited to their house every day as Miss Arashima's boyfriend. Can't you do this? Miss Arashima's father snubbed me. Then, one day... You know, after being told every day, don't you ever get tired of it? Hmm? Normally... I would be annoyed if someone said something like that to me, but you don't seem to be holding back at all. I'm fine with that because I like you. I'm... 
Using your feelings to make you play a fake boyfriend, though? I don't care. It's a perk. <sighs> well, to begin with, I'm the type of guy who doesn't mind being pissed off too much. I see. Hmm? Why is your face red? What? I ain't turning red. Don't say random things. Yeah? After such an event... K uh, Mr. Kuramochi... Oh? It's unusual for you to talk to me at school. Is something wrong? I've baked cookies. Please eat them if you like. Huh? <laughs> cookies? Why? Yes, it's for you who are always working hard. I see. Thanks, Miss Arashima. <sighs> What's that maidenly expression on Miss Arashima's face? She looks like a girl in love. I'm too envious of Miss Arashima's homemade cookies. For a while, they asked me about my relationship with Miss Arashima, but since the fake boyfriend thing was a secret, I just fudged it anyway. Yes. I'm here. No! I quietly closed the front door. Yes. Hey, why did you close the door while your girlfriend is here? Welcome. What's going on with you all of a sudden, coming to my house? I ran away from home, and I need you to let me stay here for a while. I quietly closed the front door. Yes? Well, listen. There is a reason why I ran away from home. I understand. It's what my girlfriend wants, isn't it? Thank you. Then, you can carry all this baggage. No! I quietly closed the front door. Actually, my shitty father tried to force me into an arranged marriage. A marriage? You have a boyfriend, though. He suddenly said he doesn't approve you. Naturally, I rebelled. While Kuromochi is trying his best, that bastard father... It was so disgusting! I understand why you ran away from home. My parents aren't at home today, so if you want to stay over, you can. What? Your parents aren't here today? That means... it's just the two of us. But still, you ran away from home. Do you really hate your father that much? Oh no, I don't hate him. I just find it disgusting. Really? I still respect and appreciate him. You may have noticed, but I don't have a mother. <clears throat> I visited her house every day recently, so I noticed it, of course. I don't know the reason, though. I was waiting for you to ask me. You were trying to be polite? I just don't have a taste for asking about other people's home affairs. I thought you had a loose tongue and were, uh, an insensitive guy who reveals secrets to people, but you never talk about what's really important, do you? <clears throat> My mother died when I was very young and my father raised me by himself. He ran the company and everything. He drove me to kindergarten every day and helped me with my studies. Whoa! I'm disgusted with my father, but he's not a person who just talks and doesn't do anything. So I respect him, but he still pisses me off. I see. I don't need to talk about the asshole anymore. Anyway, um, it's just you and me today, is that true? Yeah. My parents are on a business trip right now, so they won't be back for a couple of weeks. Two weeks! I don't have an extra room for now. I'm going to have you sleep in my room. <laughs> Is that okay? K in Mr. Kuromochi's room. Just the two of us. What's wrong? Your face looks red. The wardrobe! Can I open the wardrobe or something? Of course not! Here we go. Well, thank you for the bass. Then you can use my bed, Miss Arashima. No, no, no. I'm fine on the floor. This is your room, right? How can I let someone I love sleep on the floor? You love? <sighs> no worries. I changed to the bedsheets and blankets for the guests. Why change them? What? Why are you mad at me? I don't mind it just the way it is. I don't mind your smell. Really? I use a generic fabric softener. Is that kind of thing the same for rich people? Well... Oh? I feel very, very dumbfounded. So anyway, you take the bed. Yeah. Well, why don't we just share a bed together? What? 
I'm just kidding. You don't want to be in the same bed with a fake boyfriend, no matter how much I want to. Uh, well, that's okay. Huh? I don't really mind. What? 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 Uh. We really slept in the same bed together. Do you have enough space? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Well, that's good. I'm sorry. I know it's annoying of me to barge in out of the blue, right? I don't mind. It's a perk to be asked to do something for a girl I like. But I'm taking advantage of your feelings. Don't you hate me? I'm also taking advantage of this situation to sleep in the same bed with a girl I like. I think it's mutual. Hey, what do you like about me? My face? I like your face. I like your voice. And I also like the mole under your armpit. Fuck you. But I guess I actually didn't like you much at first. Huh? I just don't trust the idea of a perfect superhero who can do anything. Yeah, well... Good things always have a flip side. That's my way of thinking. When I see a movie that people say is interesting, I look at the bad reviews first and then decide whether I want to watch it or not. Your life sounds so boring. I'd rather trust bad reviews. Well, some of the reviews are not very helpful, but I trust them more than the reviews that only say good things about the place. Hmm? So, when I first heard the rumors about Miss Arashima, who had nothing but good things to say, I definitely thought she had a dark side. As expected, there was one! I was curious to know what kind of another face someone like you had. I unconsciously followed you with my eyes, and when I realized, I fell in love with you. Is that so? I wanted to ask you out because I wanted to see the other side of your face. I thought that if we got to know each other well, you would show me your true side. Well, I saw it before that though. That was a stupid thing to do. I was so stressed out that I did it at school. It must be tough. But I guess it's a good thing that I'm here with you now because of it. Huh? Oh, no. Nothing. Good night! <sighs> I didn't sleep a second that night. Next day... Your eyes are all puffy. <laughs> What's wrong? Excuse me. I didn't sleep well last night. I had come to Miss Arashima's father's place alone without telling her. So... <clears throat> well... My daughter is at your house, I've been told. I was just about to tell you about that. How did you know? My daughter ran away from home. Of course we have done everything in our power to find her, and I know she became a trouble at your house. Even if I force her back now, she won't listen to me, will she? I'm sure she won't. That was... <sighs> my fault, to be honest. I was in a bit of a hurry. I'm sorry about you too. I'm sorry I bothered you about the boyfriend thing and about her running away from home. Did you even know I was playing her boyfriend? That level of lying won't fool me. So, you knew everything? I was a little too hard on you, trying to get you to leave my daughter quickly. I am sorry. Oh, no, not at all. Well, I meant every word I said to you. Uh, yes. <laughs> sorry for my behaviors. So, how is my daughter doing? Did she say anything about me? She called you a shitty father. Shit? She said she has a lot of respect for him, but I don't have to tell him. Oh my god. She was choking up because of all the manners and civility. Is it okay to talk about it? I have a loose tongue. You're the type of person who wouldn't be trusted out in the world, you know? Why so hard? I know manners and civility may sound like a lot of nagging to young people these days, but if you want to get along with someone you don't know, nothing could be more convenient or easier. Convenient and easy? Just learning how to use a knife and fork is enough to get along with people. On the other hand, if you don't know how to use a knife and fork, you will be underestimated as a person of that level. I just wanted my daughter to get along with more people. <sighs> I believe that manners and civility are only a means in the end. What is important is the feeling of caring for others. If you are not allowed to smoke on the street, you shouldn't. 
Priority seats should be given to those who need them. If you can do just these things, people will like you and become friends with you. And if you get along, you won't create unnecessary conflicts. That's… a good thinking. It's kind of our family motto. I thought my daughter understood that. <laughs> but she was always rebellious. I was worried about her future. <sighs> I had to rehabilitate the stupid girl who was having a fake boyfriend. <sighs> I was in a hurry and brought up the idea of an arranged marriage. As a result, I put you through a lot of trouble. I'm sorry. Oh, no. <sighs> no. But shitty father, I guess she is like me. Huh? I used to rebel against my father, who was so strict about manners and civility that I used to call him a shitty father behind his back. Well, indeed, a father and daughter. It was my late wife who made me listen to my father's words. If you too are thinking of getting married in the future, you should learn how to escort a lady. A man who can escort a lady smartly will be very popular with the ladies. <clears throat> I'll call him my mentor. That's what I thought in my mind. Mentor, I understand your story. What? Mentor? I came here today alone because I wanted to know what kind of idea my mentor had in mind to set up an arranged marriage. No, I don't mean to be your mentor. Mentor! Oh, yes. I'm not your mentor, but... <laughs> what is it? I'll take care of your daughter. I will bring her back, I promise. I see. Thank you, Mr. Kuromochi. And so it goes. I brought her back. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> Yuka. I only came here because Mr. Kuromochi insisted that I should talk to you once. I see. Then only family members. What? what? See you then. No, I don't want to be alone with them. Yes, that's right, Mr. Kuromochi. This is indeed awkward. I don't want to be in that awkward situation either. I left the two of them in the room without mercy. Mr. Kuromochi? Oh, yes? I am a maid of the Arashima family. I thank you for your kindness in bringing the young daughter and her father together. Oh no, not at all. Don't worry about it. I would like to express my gratitude to Mr. Kuromochi. What? A gift? Hospitality? Two hours later... I heard that Mr. Kuromochi is here. <laughs> Mr. Kuromochi? This way. What the...? Uh... Smiling. No, no, Miss Arashima. Yes, what's wrong? I just kind of long to be surrounded by maids. It's not that I lost feelings for you or anything. No, no, I don't mind at all. Then it's okay to get attentions a little more by the maids, isn't it? Of course you can't do that. I'll beat you up. You're showing your true colors. Oops, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. I'm scared. I talked to my father. I talked about my father's thoughts. About the arranged marriage. I see. I didn't know my father was thinking that way. Well, you never know unless you're told. Thank you for everything. You've even helped me get out of a family discontent. No worries. But you told my father my secret, didn't you? I didn't tell him. I just said that you called him a shitty father behind his back. That means you are telling! I told you! I told you I have a loose tongue. Bullshit! You don't really have a loose tongue, do you? What makes you say that? You heard my father's thoughts first, but you didn't say anything to me, did you? If you had told me first, we would have been able to reconcile more easily. Besides, you told him about my two side face, but you didn't tell him how much I respect him. You and your father should be the ones to tell in your own words. I knew it. You never say what is really important. Why you say that you have a loose tongue? I think you should keep important things to yourself. I don't want to hear other people's secrets like that. Knowing a person's secret means that you are trusted. But it also means that you have a responsibility. That kind of responsibility feels somewhat heavy to me. You might be right. But you have something you want to tell me even if it's important? 
for example? Like, uh, I like you. Uh, Is this something we should keep to ourselves too? Well, uh, no, thank you. It's my pleasure. I see. I guess this means that from now on, me and you are lovers. I'm sure you're right. Well, well. Let's keep up. Then I'll go spread the word right away. What? Mr. Arashima! I'm going out with your daughter! What? Wait! Later that day, it was spread to the Arashima family. Miss Arashima was embarrassed and did not come out of her room for a while. Bonus. You have no secret? What is it suddenly? I want to know your secret too. And I want to tell everyone. Isn't that awful? You gave away my secrets first, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Oh, really? What is it? I'm actually in love with you. I really love you. I know, silly. Why do you know? It is not a secret. But I don't have any other secrets. Basically, I only know other people's secrets. On the contrary, how do you know other secrets? For example, you name one of your doll Takuro and sleep with him every day. Uh? And then, hey! Wait, wait, wait! How do you know that? Who leaked it? The maids of the Arashima family. Them!